Right, so we've arrived at F. This is the ancestor of 90% of males outside of Africa. Uh, and as you can see here, it's given rise to rather a lot of different uh, haplogroups. The first lineage to split off is G, uh, then H splits off, and then I, J, K, uh, and I, J to the west and K to the east split off further. Now the basal clades of F today are not very common. Uh, they mostly exist in uh, South Asia, Sri Lanka particularly, like the deepest rooted clades H, which is largely found in Dravidians. It was formerly found throughout the Indian subcontinent um, in large quantities. Now it predominates in Dravidians and it's at lower quantities elsewhere in India. H is also the uh, most prevalent uh, paternity among the gypsies alongside other Indian groups like R1A and according to some reports R2. I think it, it varies dependent on the group and then a few paternities they've picked up uh, during their travels. Okay so here you can see um, the other offshoot, uh, G, the other early offshoot because this is these are the two offshoots that split before IJK uh, and the interesting thing here uh, is that you can see there's an area in South Iran, what was formerly Ilam, Ilam, uh, where G is significant. It's 25 to 50 percent in that in that small coastal area, and there is an Ilamo Dravidian hypothesis that suggests that the Ilamic and Dravidian languages came from the same place, which is very interesting given that uh, G and H, sorry, are both uh, deep-rooted clades of F. Uh, as you can see, today the homeland of G and the only place where it's predominant is uh, in the Caucasus, especially in Georgia, but it's also high in Armenia. Um, it spread, it was one of the clades that was spread in the Neolithic expansion, so as you see it's prevalent everywhere in Europe, very low quantities uh, in Northern Europe, and a little higher in the south of the continent.